nito upang patuloy po natin na ipaglaban ang divine destiny ng ating bansa. Amen. And so, we have heard from the Lord na ang qualified na magdedicate sa ating bansa ay walang iba kundi ang mga bata. Because they have the touch of innocence in them. Amen. And they will be the one to dedicate our nation and to seek for the mercy of God. Last year po, ay nais po namin ipakita sa inyo yung Himala ng Panginoon. Doon po, noong August 21, ang sa, pinakita po ni Lord sa akin noong July 7, ang, ang, ang isang pahedyang magaganap sa ating pong bansa. And this is the first time na talaga pong nanginig pati ang laman ko. At talagang humagulgul ako sa Panginoon. And that was only a month after po ng June 15 na kung saan po ginanap ang National Prayer of Repentance. Pero ang sabi ko po, Lord, we are willing, Lord, kung ano ang gusto niyo pang ipagawa. Handa po kami alang-alang sa bansa. And then the Lord told me, ipinakita po niya yung trahedya magaganap sa ating pong bansa. At ang sabi po niya, that the children can touch the heart of the Father, this is the impression of the Holy Spirit. And so we go on August 21 sa Ground Zero sa Luneta. At ang mga bata po ang siya umiyak to, to seek the mercy of God. Now, ito po ang resulta ng panalangin nila na ito. At patuloy po natin na ating po iaaray ang bansa kasama ang mga bata. Amen. Apat apong taong pananahimik, pinangangambahang bumutok ang Taal Volcano dahil sa pag-aalboroto nito sa ngayon. Inihahalin tulad ng vivot sa 1984 Mayon Eruption ng posibleng pagsabog ng vulkan ngayon. Diretsyo yung buwan, na halos palakas ng palakas. Eh, pinagbambas pinag lang ko pa yung sesmo crop, tinitingnan po eh, bigla na lamang may napakinig na akong explosion doon sa ako na eh. Siya ng mainit na mainit. Hahangin muna siya ng mainit na mainit. Pagkatapos yung uulan ng alikabok, tapos uulan ng bato. Kita po yung apoy, gumalan niya sa ibabaw ng tubig, papunta sa ako. Apoy na yun, apoy na, na may nangunguna yung buso. Oh, parang, 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 kasi malayo nga nasa dagat eh. Parang gumagang yun, kapun siya. Kapunta na doon sa amin. Marami yung matay mo. Kasi yung, yung unang-unang na yung mga tao nag-aandawan para mabuhay, kahit na hindi na kaya ng bangka, sasakay pa rin. Kaya hindi na nakalis po. Hindi na rin na, no? Lulugod na doon yung bangka. Ito ang mayon nung sumabog nung 1984. Isa sa mga pinakamapanganib na pagsabog ng bulkan. Sumabog ang mistulang kabute na makapal na usok. Laman nito ang magkahalong lava, magma at abo. Sa gabi, ganito ang itsura niya. Nagbabaga ang mga iniluluwa nitong pyroclastic materials.
taking aim at the Philippines, which could be in for a very rough weekend. This is a Category 5, and in that part of the world, that large a hurricane is called a super typhoon. With winds over 150 miles an hour, it's roaring in from the Pacific, threatening some of the same areas devastated by the last big one just last year. Mga kapuso, pag-asa po nagsabi nito, ha? Tila nadaan daw sa dasal ang bagyong rubi. Eh, eh, may tuturin na raw yan ang ngayon na ordinaryong bagyo na lang at hindi na isang super bagyo. Che. Yes, Mike. Alam mo, habang nagmamonitor kanina, no, mm -hmm. na ma ilang oras itong uh, pag-asa officials, ay balot sila ng pangamba dahil nga sa pinapakitang lakas na itong bagyong rubi. Pero makalipas ang ilang oras, tila nagkaroon, nagkaroon ng milagro, Mike. Dininig yung panalangin ng maraming Pilipino nang nasa itaas. Mga siyentipiko man, tila naniniwala sa pag-aadya na may kapal sa pagbaba ng lakas ng bagyong rubi. Mula sa 215 kilometers per hour, naging 195 kilometers per hour ang lakas ng bagyo. Habang tumatagal, lalong ihina siya. So we would expect that it will weaken until landfall, until even after landfall, hanggang mag-exit siya. So hindi na siya magiging super typhoon. Baka ito na yung pagdadasal ng lahat ng Pilipino. April 26, April 26, at about 3.55 in the afternoon as I was waiting on God. And the angel brought a scroll to me. He had this message. In the same I will write to them. Many terrible earthquakes will occur. Anega bayangara kodiya boomi adichigal undahum. And a great earthquake will strike the Philippines. Miga kriya boomam Philippians desatai thakum. I was shocked by that word. And the warta yane adichikulaki yadu. I looked at the angel thinking in my heart, are you really sure? But how can I ask him that question? I see him with my naked eyes standing before me. Clearly he spoke those words. Many terrible earthquakes will occur. Many nations of the world. And a great earthquake will strike the Philippines. As I said, to analyze all that. A scripture came before my mind. In Hebrews chapter 12 verse 26. Agai chapter 2 verse 6 and 7. The Holy One of Israel said. Once more I will shake. All the nations. Yenum oru visenan sagala desatayum asai pain. I will check all nations. Sagala desangalim an asai apunne be. Every nation will be shaken. Yen magikuwanan sa lahat ng bansa sa mundo. Kung papani pakikita ng Dios sa kanya kapangyarihan at ang sabi ng panginoon, kung pani nga muling hinango, how pampanga were able to arose from ashes? Because of His mighty power, ganun din ang gagawin niya sa ating bansa. But there is one king, the king's repentance. We have to return back to the 
Lord. So, yung pong binigay na four forms of distraction sa Jeremiah chapter 11 and 15 na nilibil sa akin ng Panginoon this April ay binigay din po doon sa isa sa Indian prophet na kasama ni Prophet Sadu. Binigay din po sa kanya the, the same month of April. Tignan po natin. Prophecy concerning the nation of Philippines. The Lord Jesus Christ stands with outstretched arms with compassion toward this nation of Philippines. He calls out saying, Come, O my people. His bosom is seen, and amidst many prophets are seen to be standing there. The meaning for this is that it is the Lord's desire to raise many prophets from this nation. The Lord is going to raise many special scientists. They will discover new discoveries related to aeronautics. The scientific world will be greatly amused by such discoveries. I will also raise many who will discover new discoveries under the earth. I will command good health for the people of the nation. The quality of education in that nation will be uplifted in the coming days. There will be an increase in the wisdom and knowledge of God. It will appear that the growth of that nation will be spoken about worldwide. The Lord will move amidst that nation, and the angel of God given for that nation by God will protect that nation. Growth in businesses and industries will be good. These people will stand in the presence of God. They must preach the gospel everywhere. If they do not see God, then they will be careless by neglecting these days. The one who binds is bringing the chain. He is preparing to bind just as he bound Samson. Before binding, the beatings from the chain will be terrible. Earthquakes and disasters caused by waters will be terrible. Destructions caused by fire will be terrible in the nation. A sudden outburst of fire will cause destruction in many places. Destruction and devastation will be heard everywhere. There will be continuous murders and thefts even during the hours of dawn in that nation. There will be outcries that will be heard in the streets. When people hear about destruction in the town, even while they run to work that town, they will be terrified by hearing about destruction in another town and they will run to murder, because of which the hearts of the people will be terrified. When the volcano in the mountainous region near the airport runway erupts and when the lava flows down the steep places, know that the wrath of God has descended upon your nation. Humble yourself in the presence of God as the time to do the things that must be done is short. Put away proud thoughts. By making hardened hearts, turn the people toward the presence of God to plead in the presence of God. Do not sow on stony grounds and in points. People must repent by introspecting and realizing themselves. Let them cleanse their tongues. Tradition has burned. The bondage of tradition is there even amidst the saved. The people are to make all these and are 
to worship the true living God alone and walk according to the word. Let the spiritual rise first and push down the unclean. I place before you death and life. What is your choosing? I will be no longer. Repent! The kingdom of heaven has come near now. Prepare to meet the Lord your God. The 15 days of prayer and fasting chain, as we were interceding in behalf of the nation, pinakita po ng Panginoon, if we will not contend for the destiny of our nation, pagkatapos pong pinakita ng Diyos sa atin ng kanyang kapangyarihan last year, nang sabi nga po, that magnitude 2.7 earthquake should be 7.2 magnitude earthquake. Na gumalaw po ang West Valley Fault noong September 29. But because of the mercy of God, hindi na po naulit ang paggalaw ng West Valley Fault. Nat Nagatili siya sa 2.7 at hindi na po gumalaw. That is the mercy of God. Amen! Ang sabi po, 